For example, the duality between science and philosophy or science and metaphysics. This is another sticking point for many scientifically minded people is they tend to think that science is distinct from philosophy and science is distinct from metaphysics. Science is good, science is rigorous, science is true, and metaphysics and philosophy, this is just mental masturbation, it's just theories, it has nothing to do with science. Except, of course, this is a totally ignorant position, completely ahistorical. If you know your history of where science came from, you know what science used to be called? There was not science 500 years ago. There was natural philosophy. Science evolved out of natural philosophy. Of course, that's been forgotten conveniently by many scientists today. Of course, in theory, they know it, but in practice, they don't actually practice it. They don't embody it because they treat metaphysics as some sort of separate and bad boogeyman field that is corrupting science if you engage in it, where actually it's the opposite. You see, when you're doing science without having done metaphysics, all that means is that you're doing science using very shoddy, unconscious, materialist metaphysics. You're sneaking the metaphysics in there, into your science, into all of your experiments and all of your interpretations of your experiments. It is completely infested with a terrible metaphysics, but because you deny that metaphysics is important or relevant to what you're doing, you don't even know this. That's how ignorant you are. You're so ignorant of metaphysics, you don't even know that you have a metaphysics. And that is completely corrupting all of your science and all of your thinking. That's how significant this duality is. It's so easy to discount philosophy. Yet, if you look historically, philosophy is one of the most significant and impactful and practical fields, especially within Western civilization, but I mean, even in Eastern civilization too. Look at how philosophy has shaped Eastern civilization in China, in Japan, uh, in India, deeply philosophical cultures. But of course, in the West, it's also very philosophical. The whole notion of Western civilization basically stemmed from Athens and from Greece and from Rome. Um, and look how philosophical they were. The greatest philosophers were also the greatest scientists. If you want to be a hack scientist, don't study philosophy ever or metaphysics. If you want to be a genius, cutting edge, Einstein level scientist, study philosophy and metaphysics. It's not an accident that, that our greatest scientists who made the, the biggest breakthroughs were deeply interested in metaphysical and philosophical topics, whether it's Isaac Newton or Kurt Gödel or Albert Einstein or Niels Bohr or Schrodinger, David Bohm. I mean, I could just keep rattling on and on. This list doesn't end. Science is actually just a subset of philosophy. That's all it is. It's a subset of metaphysics. It's a subset of epistemology.